X-47B Stealth Strike Fighter to provide the United States Navy USN, with an unmanned combat air system carrier UCAS, Northrop Grumman has developed the X-47B version. The strike fighter-sized unmanned aircraft was able to successfully conduct its very first demonstration of autonomous aerial refueling with an Omega Air KC-707 tanker in April 2015. First developed as a component of the X-47 program, the unmanned aircraft was initially conceived of at a cost that is projected to be $813 million. The airworthiness of the X-47B unmanned combat flight system demonstrator was created. July in 2012, the aircraft completed its first test flight at Patuxent River, Maryland, in the United States. August 2014 marked the beginning of the integration of the X-47B aircraft into the carrier operations of the United States Navy alongside manned aircraft. In May 2015, the completion of the initial test program for the aircraft was achieved. The history of the development of the UCASD, the United States Navy's unmanned combat air system carrier demonstration, UCASD program was responsible for the development of the X-47B Unmanned Combat Air System UCS. The program's objective is to build and demonstrate those fighter-sized tailless unmanned aircraft that are capable of being deployed from aircraft carriers operated by the United States Navy. The X-47B is a variation of the Pegasus X-47A, which was developed in 2001 as a joint effort between the United States Air Force and the United States Navy and was given the name JUCAS. DARPA was the organization that provided funding for the program, and Northrop Grumman was the primary contractor. On the other hand, the UCAS development effort was terminated in February of 2006 to concentrate on the development of individual UAV systems by both of the armed forces. As a result of the cancellation, the development of the X-47B, which had begun in June 2005, was temporarily paused. In August of 2007, the United States Naval Air Systems Command NAVAIR, awarded Northrop Grumman a contract for the production and demonstration of two X-47B aircraft as part of the Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstrator UCASD, program. Another objective of the UCASD initiative is to lay the groundwork for the development of potential future unmanned systems that are compatible with carriers and pose a low level of risk. Companies such as Rockwell Collins, Goodrich, Lockheed Martin, Parker Aerospace, Honeywell, GCAN Aerospace, General Electric, GE, Wind River Dell, Hamilton Sunstrand, Pratt & Whitney, Eaton & Moog are among those that are working together on the UCASD pilot program. The Structure and Characteristics of the X-47B In terms of length, the tailless unmanned aircraft measures 38.2 feet, while its wingspan measures 62.1 feet. Both stealth and low observable relevant needs were taken into consideration when designing the shape of the aircraft. Weapons weighing 4,500 pounds can be stored in the weapons bay. Smart operations are performed by the computer-controlled X-47B UCAS, and its flight control system is equipped with autonomous capabilities. It is a hybrid global positioning system GPS, vision-based system that is responsible for controlling the navigation capability of the UCAS. The trajectory of the flight has been pre-programmed, and a mission operator is responsible for monitoring its activities. Electro-optics, EO, infrared, IR, synthetic aperture radar, SAR, inverse SAR, ground-moving target indicator, GMTI, electronic support measures, ESM, and marine-moving target indicator, MMTI, sensors are all included in the UCAS's collection of sensors. The United States Air Force's UCASD is equipped with boom receptacle devices for autonomous air refueling, in addition to probe and drogues, which are used by the United States Navy. Details regarding the X-47B's power plant and performance. To provide power, the Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW220U engine and exhaust system are utilized in the X-47B. An impressive subsonic speed of roughly 0.45 meters is possessed by the aircraft and its range is approximately 2,100 kilometers. The UCAS can reach a maximum altitude of 40,000 feet. Putting the X-47B demonstration aircraft through its paces. The UCASD initiative resulted in the construction of two X-47B aircraft that were powered by two autonomous jets. The design and hardware components of the two demonstration vehicles are comparable to one another. At the moment, the business is piloting both of the X-47B aircraft through their flight tests. 
For reconnaissance, intelligence gathering, and surveillance, they can accommodate a wide variety of sensors, and they also have the capacity for armament systems. Neither the demonstration units nor the payload have been put on them. October 2009 marked the completion of the first X-47B, which included the completion of structural proof testing. In July 2010, the aircraft, which was designated as Air Vehicle 1, AV-1, was moved to Edwards Air Force Base, AFB, to conduct flying tests. In March 2011, the second aircraft, which was given the designation AV-2, arrived at the facility for testing. February in 2011, the UCASD underwent its initial flight test mission. An onshore catapult facility at Naval Air Station Patuxent River was the location where the first catapult launch of the X-47B was carried out in November 2012. On board the United States Navy ship Harry S. Truman, CVN-75, a series of deck handling trials were carried out during the first part of the at-sea test phase, which was finished in December of 2012. In addition, the aircraft was put through its paces in terms of its ability to launch, operate, and recover within a Navy carrier's operational area of 50 nautical miles. During December 2012, the carrier launch, recovery, and deck handling tests were completed. Establishing a basis for the future To assist the Navy in exploring the potential of unmanned carrier aircraft in the future, the X-47B UCAS was developed. With the successful completion of the flight test program, the groundwork has been laid for the creation of a fleet of unmanned aircraft that will be deployed on carriers and will be more permanent. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.